Hey YouTube, um, this is a video about ice stat menus. This is an app that can tell you various things, you can just view them or you can also put them in your menu bar like I have there. So, alright, as you can see here guys, just give a quick example of what I have in my menu bar. Without clicking on anything, I can see a graph of my CPU usage per core or processor. You can also bundle them all to one, so say you have a, I don't know, for an example, an 8 core uh, Mac Pro, and you have 8 cores stacked along there or something like that, you can bundle them up one to one. So you're not going to have a huge ass graph, so I love your menu bar. Uh, I also have my hard drive usages, so you can see there I've got Microsoft HD and Data, both rather full ish, and they're both not very good hard drives, so I need to kind of get new ones. <laughs> And also you've got removable media, so stuff like pen drives and external hard drives. Also I've got my memory guys, which is my RAM. So as you can see there you get a little graph also again. You can see how much you've got free. And I have my temperatures. Um you can't view many temperatures on uh, MDD. But as you get more advanced in your Macs, like um even just one generation up from this, the G5s, you've got a lot more sensors. But you can see my CPU is running at 57 degrees. And I can view my two hard drive temperatures, both 44 and 40, which are very high. May I add for hard drive temperatures, really? So, yeah. And that's all I have, that's a screen for. So, if I get right into this app, guys, I'll go into System Preferences. Click on I Start Menus, it'll be in Other. And let me just clearly state that this is version 2. I Start Menus 2. I did have 3 for 15 days until my trial ran out, and I haven't actually used this app in quite a few weeks possibly maybe a month or two or something like that maybe a bit more I don't know because uh, I start my news three costs and I'm not gonna pay for it and you know you can do what you want to do to get through it you know do, get a crack version of all that but I'm just sticking with this one at the moment because it's simpler and it's it's all I need there's not virtually no differences so be here guys in general these are all your settings for it use black graphs and icons in menu bar that just virtually turns everything black i don't know why they have that as an option there because you can change everything in there ah maybe that's why because they don't have a black option it's pretty cool then you got use rounded corners on menu bar graphs so if you go up there at the moment you can see that they've got rounded corners if i untick that they all are very square and bulky which i don't like so i'm gonna like have that ticked um, edit preferences item in each drop down that just says at the bottom there you've got edit preferences so it's basically just a shortcut to this so I, I don't need that there so I just have it off right skin this I don't fully know I, I assume it's blackwa and aqua uh, originally guys before the update that this one had you could only have this black like you can see the background there it's black um, but now they've added this the aqua option which makes it nice and simple same color as the menu bar and no changes which is nice and that's what i used to have but as i got a kind of ready theme type going on at the moment i do rather it as a black because it's kind of whoop, it's kind of darker and all that so i prefer that looks nice uh then you've got your skin color this is basically the color of your graphs and all that stuff like you see it's blue there um fire that's what i've got at the moment graphite that's a gray color green green pink pink purple and red and that obviously changes the graph when you go on there as well i have that on fire um update checker this is just obviously self-explanatory i don't have this check because it's going to be prompting me for updates for istat 3 which i really don't want so i am um, check them all right cpu so this will give you a cpu setting so Right, that's just the menu bar layout. Don't worry about that really. Um, oh, you got monitor CPU. That's where you tick to choose if you want it or not. The one not there. <laughs> and then that it says update every second, update every 0 0.5 seconds. That's just you can see the graph updating slightly. That just chooses how much you want it to update. So you could have it every 10 seconds. So that graph's only going to be moving every 10 seconds. Myself, I have it to every second. Well, actually, I'm going to change that to to 1.5. <laughs> Not that that really makes a difference, guys, but here. Um, right, this is the thing I was on about. Show multiple CPU cores as one item. So if I tick that now, as you can see, guys, it rounds it up into one graph, even though when I click on there, I've still got two. 
So you can have that if you've got more than lots of cores, if you know what I mean. But as I've got two processors in here, two don't look too bad. It looks pretty sweet, so I'll just have that. Um, show top five processes. If you untick that, you can see on here I've just got the CPU usage, how much is idle, blah, 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 all that stuff. And that's it, basically. If you click that, you can see the top five processes. What, what's the top five things that are using up the majority of your CPU? So as you can see that I got screen screen flow recorder using virtually nothing, but you know what I mean. Obviously, if you're doing a more complicated task, it will use it. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, limit limit history graph to one item. Um, okay, I don't know what that is. And group items in menu bar. I don't know what that is either. But I, I to be honest, guys, I can't find them find kind of unnecessary if I don't know what they are. So we go into memory, guys. It's obviously a RAM. Once again, tick there. Ooh, that's updating every ten seconds. Actually, I don't need to monitor my RAM that often. I'll just set that to eight. To be honest, I never really monitor it. I find this computer is really good for RAM. I never really run out unless I've been going for a whole day or doing some stuff in Photoshop. Man, that kills it. Once again, same thing there. Show top five processes and show inactive RAM as free RAM. So. Hmm, I don't actually, I haven't looked around that. 1.27. Okay, yeah, let's just show you an active RAM is free RAM, just whatever. This usage, this is your um, hard drive usages, update every minute that's set to. Obviously, you can go a lot wider. Uh, well, that's the widest, but you can go on a lot wider on this than you can the other ones. Once again, same things there. And active disks telling you what ones to monitor. And you got your f format there, base 10 format. Not that I actually know what that means, but. <laughs> and there's just your drop down discs, what ones are going to be there when you uh, drop it down. Oh, I'm kind of pointing at this, pretty pointless. Um, Your activity, this is going to be. Well, your activity, what the hell's going on in your computer, your hard drive readings and all that stuff. I'm not interested in that, but. That's what it is. Network, this is your monitor, your bandwidth and all that. I've just disconnected the internet just now, but you know, you can view how much KBS you're getting, how much you're pulling in and all that stuff. I'm not gonna be using all of that. But there's what it can look for and stuff like that and all your settings for that. Sensors, this is for your heat, like I was saying just now. Temperatures on fifty six degrees at the moment. Um once again all that stuff there, what available items you can do obviously if you've got more sensors in there there will be more things there and then you can change your degrees to degrees Fahrenheit or sort of stuff like that 132 <laughs> scary but it's the same you know but monitor smart drive temps there's your that's your hard drives and all that disable on battery power well I'm not gonna be needing that am I but you know that's what it is date and time this is pretty cool you know you can have like the date where you got the date where you got Wednesday 26th January blah 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 if you click this I used to have this I don't know why I have it now but you can replace that with that which is obviously quite a lot nicer than the other one so speaking of which guys I'm actually gonna do that right now put that by there so you get the nice little calendar icon there and you can change your preferences for that that's very self-explanatory self you know what I mean New York, London, please. Um, yep. So that's that. iPhone. This is this. This isn't a setting for this general computer. You can get iStart on your phone on your iPhone. I've got it on my iPhone. It's just you can view your RAM and stuff on the phone. Obviously, not as many things you can view on here, like your CPU usage and all that. But you can view your RAM, which is about the geekiest thing you can view on on there, if you know what I mean. And then you've got Donate Masters for donating stuff. So that's iStart menus, guys. iStart two is free. If you want to download this, I think you're gonna have to look a around like third party sites or whatever you want to do like you know I don't think you can just get it straight off the site but it's, it's not going to be that hard to find just download iStart menu this is two just not going to google or whatever your search browsers but if you're not if you're getting number two I highly recommend checking them too unless you want to be prompted for updates every single time you start your computer up or every 24 hours you can obviously do it manually as well not that you'd want to and then you just got that stuff down there I think that's a random ad and their Twitter online help and uninstall. 
Um, to install this, guys, is just like any normal install thing. You know, you know how to install an app, and obviously it looks really cool. And if you want to take these out without unticking them, obviously I don't know if you know, but you can hold down your Apple key or or your what do they call it command, and you can move stuff around into the order you want it. And it's got a lot of nice stuff there, guys. Ooh, I chat. Hello. But if you look on the website, guys, um. Mm. I stopped the news. Uh, and that's it, is it? A Mac app by. Yeah, this is the one. So there it is, guys. You can see buy for $16, however much that is. This is iStat Menus 3. So it it is basically the same, guys. It's got a slightly nicer interface. I mean, who cares? I'm not going to pay for something because I like the interface of it. I mean, fair enough if it was a much simpler interface, but you can't exactly get get much simpler than you can at the moment. But obviously, by the way, if, if you're on a laptop and viewing your battery usage and all, that's pretty helpful. So guys, I'm going to end this video now because I don't know how long I've been recording for. But thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.